Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Canada is an absolutely fascinating place, and to be perfectly honest, we think that's putting it lightly. There are so many fascinating and weird things about the country you'd only understand once you're living in the country and are part of the Canadian culture. From an obsession with syrup and Cuba to free healthcare, today we're looking at the top 15 things only Canadians would understand. Let's begin. Number 15. Serious About Syrup Americans may think of maple syrup as just something yummy to put on waffles, but in Canada it's big business. Even the flag hints at Canada's obsession with maple syrup. The Federation of Quebec Maple Syrup Producers keeps a strategic reserve of syrup in locations across Quebec to regulate the maple market. The Atlantic newspaper compares this sweet, sticky reserve to the U.S.'s oil reserves. Quebec produces about 70% of the world's maple syrup, and the price per barrel is many times higher than oil. Just imagine that for a second. In 2012, the maple reserve was the target of a major heist. Thieves stole over 30 million U.S. dollars worth of syrup from one of the reserve storage facilities. Yes, 30 million dollars. This is something only Canadians can relate to. We wonder how many waffles did they have, though. Number 14. Curd Cheese as a National Dish You must be thinking, what even is curd cheese? It's a food item that is hard to describe to those who are not Canadian locals. When you hear the word curd, you probably think of something that is unappealing or unappetizing, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. Curd cheese goes best with poutine, which is basically a Canadian national dish. You can get it everywhere, from movie theaters to gourmet restaurants, where chefs will often fancy it up with ingredients like foie gras and lobster. Canadians absolutely love curd cheese, and not liking it is a deportable offense in the country. Canadians may look like they're peaceful people, but when it comes to food, they can get pretty violent. Number 13. Universal Healthcare Universal what? As an American, the universal healthcare concept is kind of alien, but it is something every Canadian can relate to and be proud of. It is a part of every Canadian life, and the media doesn't even have to talk about it much, it's just so common. Canada's universal healthcare system utilizes a taxpayer-funded Medicare-like model that automatically covers citizens throughout the various provinces. It would surprise many Americans that a publicly funded healthcare makes people feel freer, not less. For those who can afford it, there are plenty of private options, but nobody lives in fear of the financial consequences of a major injury or disease. Now that's what we call freedom. Number 12. Four Seasons in 24 Hours that's too much talk about food, let's talk about something else, the weather. One thing only Canadians would understand is that the weather can actually go from negative 19 degrees Celsius to 22 degrees Celsius in one single hour. That might be a stretch, but this did happen in 1962 in Alberta. While these extremes don't regularly happen today, it's not uncommon for the temperature to fluctuate drastically from day to day especially when the season is changing from winter to spring. There will be days where you can wear your shorts outside, and the next day snow will be falling. So it's best to pack both shorts and jackets when going to the beach. Canada really is a fairy tale land, isn't it? Number 11. Apologize for apologizing. Okay, you must be thinking, this is pretty common in other parts of the world too, but Canada is known to be the most polite country in the world. That makes Canadians way more apologetic than the rest of the world. They seem to apologize so much, it becomes a bit annoying, which obviously results in them having to say sorry for saying sorry so much. Where does the madness even end? Number 10. Milk in Bags This is one of the most absurd things you'll hear today. If you're an American, you probably never saw milk in anything other than a carton or bottle. While in many parts of Canada, milk comes in bags rather than cartons or jugs. This is particularly the case in eastern Canada, where buyers receive a big bag with four smaller bags of milk inside, then put it in a specially designed pitcher. The corner of the bag is cut, and then voila, all the milk you could ever want at your disposal. It's a mystery of how these milk buying processes started and why people would willingly buy an extra product that is needed to put the bags into. Only in Canada, you guys. Number 9. Obsession with Cuba Canada is the only nation in the world that is obsessed with Cuba. More than 1 million Canadians visit the island nation each year, the most from any other country. 
Cuba has long been a premier tropical destination for Canadians, with ads at bus stops and billboards across the nation boosting its popularity and touting discounted getaways. Canadians' attraction for Cuban travel is so powerful that many got very upset when the Cuba-U.S. relationship became better because the island nation would be overcrowded with Americans. Number 8. Ketchup Flavored Chips What? Ketchup flavored chips doesn't even sound right, let alone it being an actual thing. But a country that loves ketchup so much, it's only fair that they put it on everything. Literally everything. Even chips. Ketchup chips are made by Lay's, which are only sold in Canada. Anyone who grows up in Canada remembers fingers dusted with red ketchup seasoning that became permeated deep into the skin. It's the same as Americans with Cheetos. You would think that ketchup chips would have come from America, with Heinz being the most distinguished ketchup brand out there. While you can find versions of this beloved chip flavor south of the border, they're nothing like the ones that the people of Canada have grown to love. Number 7. Lining up for the bus No list would be complete without mentioning one of the noticeably polite things Canadians do. Like its southern neighbors, Canadians don't rush and climb over other people to break the line. This is a potentially friendly, but usually silent, social situation in which people wait for the bus in a line snaking down the block. The first people to arrive at this stop, and therefore those who wait for the longest, get on first and have the first choice of seat. In many countries and cities, people wait as one blob of humanity where anyone around can touch or rob you, but in Canada, there's an unspoken and unwritten rule. You line up instead. Number 6. Put the cream in the coffee We've heard milk in coffee, but cream? That's just weird. We all know Tim Hortons is a crucial part of Canadian culture. Not content with options such as milk and sugar, many Canadians choose to put a hefty dollop of cream in their coffee. Visitors and immigrants may find this strange, but it's entirely normal behavior in the fairy tale land that is Canada. A double double is a coffee with two creams and two sugars. In other words, it's got a fair whack of calories to go with it. Our black coffee lovers must be furious at this. Number 5. No Shoes Indoors This may be a minor aspect of Canadian culture, but leaving your shoes by the door when entering a home is a widely accepted norm in contrast to the United States and some Western European nations. This is no doubt due in part to the extreme weather bringing torrents of mud and snow that otherwise would be tracked indoors, but it's likely also influenced by Canada's large Asian immigrant population. Number 4. Spell Things Differently most Canadian accents don't sound all that different from the ones in the U.S., however, there are noticeable differences between certain spelling and pronunciation, since Canada has a separate English dictionary from America. Canada retains some facets of British spelling. For example, Canadians keep the U in words like honor and color, and like Brits, they add an extra L in words like traveling. Canadians also use the word Z to describe the last letter of the alphabet. And if you hear a Canadian use the word pop, they're just referring it to soda. Also, they're just obsessed with the word A. A? Uh, A? A. <laughs> Number 3. Moose on the Road Moose are pretty intimidating creatures if you view them up close, and even if you're quite far away, they can be quite scary. So while they may be quite harmless 9 times out of 10, it can be a chilling experience to be greeted by one if you're driving down some random country road. In other countries, you meet other animals like snakes, deer, or in the case of Australia, a kangaroo, but meeting a moose is a different ballgame altogether. If this kind of thing happens to you, then we'd suggest you take a deep breath, think about your options, and question why some Canadians consider this to be normal. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. The French Canadians The next weird thing on our list is the French Canadians. If you're thinking there are French people in every part of the world, you're right. But most of the time, when you hear someone talking in a French accent, you'd assume they're from the country itself. But that isn't the case in Canada. The Quebec region of the country is known for being home to mostly French-speaking individuals. 
These people are so much in abundance, they're not even considered diaspora. Every native Montrealer has mastered the skill of combining French and English together. You can find a combination of French and English words on street signs which no one outside of Canada can understand. Canadians also love to cuss in French. Number 1. Canadian Bills Sometimes it can be quite depressing parting with your money or just having to get money out in general, so why not liven things up with some colorful notes? The Canadian bills are so colorful and lively, you actually look forward to spending them. That's not the only cool thing about the bills though. The new Canadian notes are made of a plastic-like material that has a clear strip running through it, allowing you to see from one side to the other. Canada is the only country where you can see through the bill. This perfectly represents the spirit of Canada and its overly zealous people. Which one of these facts did you find the most fascinating? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.